After spending almost two years as a PvP locked hardcore Ironman and one year as a hardcore Ironman hunter, I have decided to return to being a hardcore in PvP worlds. However, this time my private will be on at all time. My in game name is How Much For Off, and my bounty is on screen, and it's consistently increasing every single day. Something I need to start doing is completing Hard Clue Scroll. I've been waiting to complete this one. We need 40 range to access this area, which I got right now, range skilled. Step one, complete it, complete it, complete it, complete it. Yep, four steps into this Clue Scroll and we get a very risky one. It's definitely not worth risking everything for this one. Ah, <sighs> I guess we're dropping this one. No, <laughs> no way. He just PK'd one of the hunters with a knife. We're getting a lot of total levels now that we're training combat. 1075. This is also another safe zone I can use for, you know, AFK training in a safe zone. All right, so this is what I have been waiting for, 47 magic. We can now boost up and make ourselves dig site pendant. This is a brand new teleporting method I'm gonna use a lot in this one episode. Look at this, rub. Oh no. Oh shit, I didn't have any food. Yep, uh, that's where we can teleport. But before I tell you why the dig site pendant will be so useful for today's episode, let's talk about how we spend more and more time in front of our screens. Video games, work and TV series put us in front of our screens and all these devices are producing blue light, which can seriously damage our eyes. This is why we sometimes experience eye strain, itchy eyes, headaches and trouble falling asleep. I personally got a lot of headaches over the past few years and ever since I started using GMG performance glasses, the headaches disappeared. The GMG glasses are designed to act as a shield against blue light. It helps reduce eye strain, it improves your concentration and preserves the quality of your sleep. I'm wearing the GMG optimizer model right now and I've been using these since I got them in January this year. They look great and they feel great. And for everyone watching right now, I have a 40% discount offer, which ends in 48 hours. So if you're interested in buying yourself a GMG performance glasses, use the link in the description down below before the 48 hours ends. All right, and I will now show you why the dig site pendant is so useful for this one episode. Let's hop world so these scouts can't follow me. There we go, we got sweaty nuts over there. No one's here, yep. And we're gonna run over here. Talk to this uh, girl. And here we are. The quest A Soul's Bane. Throughout this entire quest, we were, we're gonna fight monsters in an instance. And once the quest is over, we are in an area which requires defense uh, to access. And that's the quest completed. 500 defense experience as a reward. And if you're a pure and you want to kill me in this area, you will have to ruin your pure to kill me. Alright, so these monsters, they don't drop anything, but it's just a nice AFK area. That's 41 range. Look at this creature, he's scary. Whoever made this one must have been on some crazy... There we go, 42 range. Oh, this is the official CC for people hunting me. And look how many people there are looking. But they cannot access this area. Great. I'm, I'm so good. 43 range. I just realized something, we should probably use the elemental shield. It gives an additional 7 plus magic defense compared to the Falador shield. It's gonna help me a lot to prevent TBs. Oh my god, so many accounts. They have surrounded me. My friends are going to hate me, but I am going to reveal a little trick some hunters use to hunt hardcore Ironman. As you can see on screen, the account called Abo follows me as soon as I teleport and he will keep following me towards that location I teleported to. This means he will be able to locate where I went off to very very quickly. In this case I went to Ferox Enclave and you can see he came there straight away. And 44 range? 45 range? 45 is actually a huge level because now we can use our Shinshampas. I think we have like 2000 Shinshampas in my bank. The people who are hunting me have created a clan chat together and I've decided to infiltrate it. He probably somewhere with a lots of aggro, not edge dungeon. He found me! They found me! Oh no! Oh no! GG! Are they gonna ruin a pure account to hunt me in that area? 
I'm not sure. I decided to do this Slayer task, 14 Slayer, uh, to throw people off. I don't really plan on doing Slayer now. It's too early for my account. There we go. First ever task completed. I want to try to do something which is very early on this account, and that's to do one barrel skill count. If I get something that marks if this is going to be a lucky account or if it's not going to be a lucky account. And just as a reminder, this is how my barrels luck looked like last time I did barrels. First item at 146 kill count. So doing barrels was fairly easy for the majority of the brothers. However, the problem was doing Verox because I had no freezes and that Verox guy, he hit through prayer. But we managed to complete the barrels at combat 4 to 6. We're gonna grab the chest and teleport. Absolutely nothing! Okay, this is gonna be such an unlucky account. We got absolutely nothing. Let's do a price check on this. What did we actually get here? Uh, 56k, that's what we got. Dig site pendant here on this one. Yep, we have now unlocked the fossil island teleport. Down here, we're gonna train on these fossil rocks right here. It's a pretty solid training spot. If someone shows up, we're gonna see them and then we can change training spots straight away. There we go, 47 range, 48 range, 49 range, here comes the level, there we go, 50 range. We got it, we got the level from green dragon hide chaps to blue dragon hide chaps. The magic defense is actually worse with the blue D height compared to the mystic row bottoms. Uh, however, the overall defense that is better with the blue D height chaps. Very nice upgrade. 50 magic, that's where we're gonna stop this grind. All right, the melee training has begun. We do have super strength and super attacks, which are gonna speed up this process a lot. And we're gonna still keep AF King at this location for a bit. There we go, 18 strength, 20 strength. So efficient players who wanna get attack and strength levels very quickly, they complete quests such as Tree Gnome Stronghold, Waterfall Quest, Vampire Slayer, and stuff like that. However, you don't gain any hit points levels from those quests, which is why I don't complete those quests. So me training here at Amanat Craft are gonna give me that extra HP levels, which I need to not die. Hey, 1100 total level, a new achievement. Look at this CC running around, not Majorina, not Yano, not Waterfall, not Crazy Arc thing on Fossil Island, not Arc, not Wizard's Tower, not Black Knight Forest, not Ogre Cage, Shekin Desert now. They are super active, very organized as well. 25 strength? Oh, I was kicked from the server. I've been infiltrating them for too long that I got kicked. 30 strength, we can now use an upgraded weapon which we have in the bank. We can now use an adamant warhammer. Jagex recently changed the requirement for warhammers from attack to strength. So I no longer need any attack levels to use warhammers. However, this change came to the cost of me pissing my pants a few weeks ago. So yeah, we just had an update and I'm running to the mage bank. Six people are online right now, but I'm still nervous. So I've been avoiding making portals in my house because I don't have too many law runes. So we're gonna stack up on all the law runes we can. All right, 600 law runes, that should be enough. That's two portals at least. I've decided to unlock three teleports in my house. We unlocked Arceus, Frankenstein, and Lumbridge teleport. But did I change the teleports after releasing this video? Who knows? Oh, he was quick. Gee, hoo, hoo, hoo. not a chance though. 34 strength, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. The final level, 40 strength. The final level for now at least. Still 48 combat. We haven't leveled a single combat level. This rune war hammer is going to be our new best in slot melee weapon. 68 strength from 45. We are a strong man now. Very, very strong. And there's a hunter right here waiting for me. One, two, three, four, five. So many hunters. Let's counter UAV them. This is how counter UAV works as a PvP locked hard crime man. You change your location, you hop world, and you make the teleport without anyone following you. That way, they can't know where we're going. Did you guys see this? Currently I can be attacked and attack level 33s to 63s, but here in this area, towards Ferg's Enclave, I can get attacked by 77s. Oh my god, what have Jagex done? Alright, I want to complete the quest in aid of Myrick, and to do so, we're gonna need a mithril bar, I don't have the smithing level. And we're gonna enter this crypt right here, to the south of the teleport spot. The chance of getting a mithril bar from these are... 
Uh, one in twenty. So if we're lucky here, we can get it really quickly. Come on, metro bar. Yes, we got it. We're done. And that's the silk thrill rod created. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. He was scouting solve teleport. All right, I got scouted, and there is only one way to break the route to complete the quest. So we're back. Training strength, fifty-four hit points. 44 strength. Here we go. Finally, some content. A clue scroll easy. Oh, we got cash cards already. Good luck, good luck. At, ooh, 6k cash. All right. Look, 46 strength. I've been here for one entire week, even longer, and still no one has found me. After killing Ammonite Crab for another one hour, I decided to head back to Berg the Rot to complete In Aid of Merrick. And there we go. In Aid of Merrick have been completed. While being down here, I decided to start the quest Darkness of Halloway. Who was that? Ooh. Wait, I teleported Pharaoh. Wait, what? That's a misclick. That was a massive misclick and he teleported me. First person to teleport me, unfortunately for him, I teleported quicker. Woohoo! Okay, how do we get to Drizzle? I might just save that for another day. XD Lamp was the first person to cast a teleblock on me. He's not in the CC though, so congratulations to XD. You win absolutely nothing. Oh, someone found out. I have unlocked Frankenstein teleport. Yikes. You know what? I have decided to complete the quest Darkness of Hallow Vale another day, another time. You know what, we started off very quickly with a Barrows run and we're gonna end with a Barrows run and I still have a bit of faith that this will be the lucky account. Please, Jagex, this is the one. Jagex, give us an item. Never lucky, kill count two. And that's where we're gonna wrap up today's episode. It took a bit longer than usual to make, but I still hope you guys appreciate it. Give the video a like if you came all the way to the end. Maybe we can get 2000 likes this time. And subscribe if you are new. My, my mom will appreciate the subscription very, very much. And hopefully I will see you guys in one week. And for those wondering, the bounty have increased by five mil, then 10 mil, another 10 mil, another 10 mil, 20 mil and 65 mil from an Iron Man. Putting the bounty at 6 billion 880 million. Good luck, gamers.